Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a Wednesday as we look out over the city of Grand Rapids. It's warm and sticky out there. You can't see that, but take my word for it. I'll show you the observations here in just a minute. Tomorrow, probably the last of the clean air action days that we're going to see. You should avoid refueling your vehicles if you can. Avoid gas-powered equipment. Those contribute to ground-level ozone, which is not good air quality for us. Maybe carpool or ride the bike. That'll save the planet uh, eventually. Uh, heat wave is going to end on Friday. I don't see us hitting 90 on Friday. We should still be in the 90s tomorrow, though. Thunderstorm chances a little bit tomorrow, maybe about a 30 or 40 percent chance, and then even more coverage on Friday, probably a 60 to 70 percent chance. I'm hoping all of us will get in on something here. 80s and low humidity this weekend, so that'll be a little bit of a change. This is just some ground clutter on the radar screen out there. Uh, and we uh, are expected to stay dry, frankly, through the overnight hours. Our current temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, even still low 80s in Grand Rapids right now. That's only part of it. As you look at the feels like temperatures, when you factor in the humidity, can you believe it's 1036? And we still have temperatures that feel like they're in the mid 80s. This indeed feels like Florida, something very tropical. Here's clouds and radar moving over the last several hours. These yellow boxes are severe thunderstorm watch boxes. Uh, that's the system that will be impacting us as we go going to tomorrow. Our chance for severe weather tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening is really not that great. It's going to be better off here in this area of yellow, but on the lowest threat category, we're on the very fringe of that. They could expand that into our area. I'm not really seeing this as a severe weather threat. It would be very minimal if we did see one, but we're hoping to maybe get in on some brief heavy downpours. There's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, and any storms that form will probably wring a lot of that out, but that's okay. We need the wet weather. I was just doing a Facebook Live here before the newscast back about 930, and everybody's chiming in. Please, please, the rain, the rain. We need the rain, and I agree. We do need the rain indeed. We'll see partly cloudy to maybe at times partly sunny skies. It's going to be hot, humid, uh, sticky, call it whatever you want. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms about the area, especially inland. Probably a little more aerial coverage tomorrow than we've had over the last several days. Temperatures around 93 degrees, but it'll feel like it's in the mid to upper 90s with that heat index out there. And still another fantastic day for being at uh, Lake Michigan. Uh, there's no beach hazard risk out there. These are your Lake Michigan water temperature. Very rare to see temperatures in Lake Michigan, especially this early in the season, hit 80 degrees. That's almost unprecedented out there. I haven't seen that very many times in the 20 years I've been here in West Michigan. There's not much of a wave out there. One foot or less for you boaters with a south to southwest wind. As we look at our weather map, here's how it plays out. Warm front lifting through the area. So again, we've got hot, humid conditions again for tomorrow. Watch some of the green pop up here as we go into the afternoon. That's the shower and the thunderstorm activity. I don't think everybody will get in on that tomorrow, but there'll be a chance of it, a better chance than we've had all week. And then as this system draws near, as we go Thursday night into Friday, uh, that low comes right overhead. That's a much better chance at all of us seeing at least some shower or thunderstorm activity off and on throughout the day on Friday. This is Friday at 6 p.m. That system pulls out of here to the east. We'll see clearing skies and should see uh, a drier, somewhat of a cooler air mass coming in here for Saturday. There'll be some showers over Wisconsin later on Saturday. Some of those could impact us on Sunday. I've kept the forecast dry right now for Sunday. Uh, that's the way it looks. Let me give you a flavor of rainfall. This is one forecast model, our European model. We'll go from tomorrow at 6 p.m. to Friday at 6 p.m. You can see this is giving us maybe a quarter to a half an inch, maybe six tenths of an inch. Here's our GFS forecast model, a little more aggressive. We're looking for continuity here. The models are kind of all over the place. Look at more than an inch from Muskegon to Fremont to Big Rapids. I don't necessarily buy that. It's not that it's not wrong, but we're again, we're looking for continuity here. I think hopefully all of us get in on something. You can see if nothing else, it is showing both models somewhat of a widespread precipitation event. Uh, we talked about tomorrow, chance of some showers Thursday, Thursday night into Friday, and then off and on on Friday, 86 degrees there. Somewhat cooler, definitely a drier air mass for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then the heat and humidity begin to build by Tuesday and beyond next week as we back up, as we're back up, rather, excuse me, to around 90 degrees. And that may be the start of yet another heat wave. Remember, 90 degrees or better for three days or longer constitutes a heat wave. So see where we go with that as we go through next week. Doug, Darren? All right, thanks, Kevin.